Student hops into a school bus at Stillwater High School and puts it in gear. Yeah, that joyride ended this afternoon with police quickly responding to the unusual scene. News 9's Clayton Cummins is in Stillwater with a moment the joy faded away. School bus number 49 is back in the possession of Stillwater Public Schools after going rogue for nearly a half hour. School district officials say they're taking this matter very seriously. News 9 storm tracker Val Castor on the scene Tuesday afternoon of a school bus pulled over by Stillwater police. The bus stolen from the high school during lunch hour. Officers initially obviously responded. They provided us with the uh, the number of the, the number assigned to the school bus, which is visible on as they're driving down the road. A Stillwater police detective found the bus shortly after less than a mile away from the high school on Lakeview Road. The high schooler immediately pulled over police say without anyone hurt or damage to the bus. Obviously, it would take some uh, pretty good nerves to uh, hop on a school bus to think I'm going to steal that thing. So again, I don't I don't know what his mindset is or what his thought process is, but Again, it's not every day that somebody steals a, a large piece of equipment like a school bus or a truck or something like that. Stillwater Public School says the student had been on a joy ride for over 20 minutes after stealing keys left on the bus. Word spread quickly among students. I walked into the locker room and I heard somebody stole the bus. And I was like, here? That's, I genuinely did not... I cannot believe somebody at Stillwater would do that. District officials credit students for alerting staff the bus was stolen. In a statement, Stillwater Public School says it doesn't tolerate theft and will take disciplinary action. People have to go through specialized training to drive buses. I'm not saying they're difficult to drive, but if you don't know how to handle a bus and how to turn the bus and how to maneuver a bus, it is dangerous. Now, Stillwater police say they have not had a run in with this student before. He is back with his parents tonight, and police say he'll likely be going through the juvenile court system. Reporting in Stillwater, Clayton Cummins, Oklahoma Zone News 9.